We're on Ricola and Hetty's ranch that has been here for over 100 years, and we just found the jeans that were worn by the ranch hands just hanging there like they never left. We sent photos to my buddy Matt. He owns I'm a Jean and Willie Denim Company, and this guy is an expert when it comes to vintage denim. Well, first off, did you get the photographs? Yeah. There's six pairs of them. Yeah, I got the photographs. It's kind of cool because you have some from the 30s, 40s, 50s, and possibly early 60s. So the ones with the buckle backs that have been cut off, uh, those are actually the most interesting. Those are from the 30s. Okay. The one pocket's completely gone. Yeah, you know, a condition is obviously everything. Um, it would have had a leather patch on the back okay. of the jeans. Um, That's gone. Which obviously creates value. Doesn't size come into play as far as value as well? Usually if it's in the 40s or the high 38 waist, um, yeah, it, it definitely lowers the value. You want to celebrate the way they're worn, the way they're used and faded, but then you start dissecting them, the leather patch being gone, the buckle back being gone, the pocket being gone, really takes away from the value. There's a pair here that the pockets don't have the arcuates. Right, so in 1944, Levi's had a restriction because of the war effort, so they were not allowed to use thread on the back pocket, so they screen printed the arcuate on the back pocket, and a lot of times that wore away. So oh, really? Away. So they actually screen printed it in the 1940s? Yeah, 1944. Okay. Matt is very detailed, he's very articulate, he's been doing this for a long time, and he's really doing a great job of explaining the history. All right, so what are you thinking? The, the 1930s Levi's jeans in great condition. We would start out at about $2,500. So we have to work our way back in condition. So I would say six to $800. That's a retail number on them? That, that's, a, that's high retail. High retail. OK. Oh, my goodness. I don't think you can see these good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. I was thinking, where can we find some more of these? <laughs> other five pair that you have, I'm gonna say two to three hundred bucks on each pair. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you were around for us to call. So this is the oh, best. Thanks, man. Well anytime dude. Hetty and Ricola are both blown away by what Matt is saying on the phone. Okay, so Matt said on these pair being the oldest, 1930s, it is probably about six to eight hundred. Yeah. So I would say probably maybe five hundred. These here, it's all about condition. He said two, three hundred dollars being the top. If we bought them all in bulk, you know, I'd like to be in them for maybe a hundred and a half a piece. These five pair at 150 would be 750, and 500 on the pair of the 1930s, that'd be 1250. All right, so at 150 a piece, and I understand some are in worse shape than others, but could we get to 175 a piece? So one, you're saying 175 a piece for the five, that'd be an extra 125, so that'd be 1375. You're happy Make with that? I'm happy. Thank you. I think you better shake both their hands, Frank. Right. Right. All right, all right. Great. Thank you, honey. I, I can't I mean, believe. I know, it's crazy, huh? World. We make connections on every pick that we go to. Sometimes it's the people, sometimes it's the things that we buy, sometimes it's the place. Today was one of those amazing days that it was all of them. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I never hugged Thank a princess you. before. Sure, we'd have Mike and Frank back. Yes. That's Good great. luck. Thank you. Take care. All right. I'm still overwhelmed. I still don't know what I'm going to do with it all. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Hades. See ya. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.